Hello my YouTube friends. Today I'm gonna show you an epic free plugin for OBS. It's gonna let you do things like this and that can transition over like this. And it's all free. It's a couple things, super simple. You guys are gonna love it so you know what? Let's get to it. I read my analytics so I know you guys are saying, shut the f up and get to the point. I got shit to do, mother. This is the web page for the 3D effect where we're gonna download it. The links are in the description. We're just gonna come over here to download and you can see it's for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. We're gonna go ahead and install the Windows installer. It's the easiest one. Just click the download. It goes into your download page and we're gonna come on over here into our downloads. We see it right here. We're gonna right click. We're gonna go to extract all, extract that file, double click, and then double click right here we're going to get this window because it's not a signed program of course it's made by an independent person who's just helping us out we're going to click more info and click run anyways then we're going to get an administrative prompt that you can't see but we'll just click yes and then make sure that this is the location for your obs yours is probably going to be c program files obs dash studio mine's in a different location just click next and then next and then install and boom now our 3d effects is totally installed let's see how we use it all right let's build a simple scene with our 3d effects you can see it says scene here we're just gonna change this to main boom and the first thing i'm gonna do why not add a little bit of text so i'm gonna go ahead here to text gdi click ok let's just say we're gonna be game streaming and i'm gonna do the witcher so we'll just do that and i'm gonna go and select a font we'll just stick this over here i'm going to right click go into filters we're going to click the plus and we're going to go to our 3d effect boom so now we can just modify how this looks so we can adjust our field of view make it bigger or smaller this is going to allow us to rotate it without it getting cut off right so we can make it smaller now we can always go in here and embiggen it like that and so now we can just rotate it right we can go up and down like that or we can go this way so i'm just going to go like that right and we'll uh, stick this over here. Now we've got our X position, which will move it around in our box. So we can center it up in our box a little bit. And there we go. We can also scale it up and down. So I will scale it on that, which actually kind of turns it even more, which is pretty cool. We can also do it the other way. We'll stretch it like that. There's really just about nothing 3D wise that you can't do with this. Now we've also got the modes perspective and orthographic. Let's just go ahead and leave that so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to load a video in here now this could be theoretically or your actual game whatever you want to do but in this case we're going to load a media source in here and we're going to call this game click ok and i'm just going to find my media source click ok i'm going to go ahead and loop it and boom so now we've got our media source and i kind of just want to match it up with our text so what i'm going to do is shrink it up a little bit and then right click we're going to go into filters and once again we're going to go to that 3d effect filter click ok and we're probably going to have to adjust our field of view but the first thing we'll do is just kind of rotate it and we'll adjust our field of view there we go so now we kind of want to just get it similar maybe even just the opposite so it kind of fits in there that way and then we can move our position around needless to say we don't really want to distort it too much because we're you know we're obviously trying to see it and then we're going to go ahead and scale it and that scales it sideways and this will scale it up and down just to kind of maximize what it looks like in our box but if we scale it the same on the x and the y we're not really distorting it and i'm going to just go ahead and stick it right there and that looks pretty cool we're going to click close now i think we can add something to this so what i'm going to do is click the plus and i'm going to go to a color source and let's go ahead and just leave the white color source for now and what i'm going to do is just shrink this down like this the goal is to put this behind there but the first thing we got to do is kind of get it in the same mode so we're going to go into our filters once again click the plus go to 3d effects click ok and now we're going to have to adjust our field of view and we're going to 
bump this so it's similar. We're gonna make this bigger, move it over here, and I'm gonna move it behind our game. And the goal here is just to make it like a backdrop for that. So what we gotta do is just give it some of this. I think we're pretty close there. Make it a little bigger maybe. I think that would probably work. Now you can use the arrow keys with this to give it super fine adjustments, but there we go. So something like this would be great as a stream is starting soon. Maybe you have your chat in the chat box over here and you have starting soon down here in text. So let's go ahead and click the plus and we're gonna add another scene and we'll call this cam. All right, so in this scene, obviously, we called it cam. We're gonna put a camera in here. I'm gonna go ahead and load our video capture device. Drop this down, select my camera. I'm gonna go down here and select use a custom audio device. And I'm just gonna go ahead and load up our audio. So here is the cautionary tale. If I take this, right, and we're gonna just shrink this down a little bit, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go into filters. And then what I'm gonna do is click the plus and we're gonna go into that 3D effect, right? And I'm gonna just zoom it out a little bit, rotate it just a touch. Okay, so we've got it rotated. I'm gonna close that. Now, if I go into a new scene, right? So if I click the plus and I go to video capture device and I just reuse that video camera, look, it's already 3D. And this probably isn't what we want. We don't necessarily want every camera to be like this one. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make this a nested scene. So I'm gonna rename it and we're gonna call it nested cam. And in this particular case, I'm just gonna take this video capture device, go into filters and remove that effect. So now we have our standard camera. I could go ahead and crop this up a little bit to make it however I want, right? Okay, and then when we go in here, obviously it's the same. But what we're gonna do is remove this and we're gonna use another simple plugin uh, there are links in the description. It installs the same way as the other one. I'm gonna click the plus and we're gonna go to source clone, right? And we're just gonna click okay. And in this case, we're gonna grab that camera as our source. We're gonna use the audio and we're gonna click okay. Now what this lets us do is go ahead and right click, go to filters. And then now we can use that 3D effect, right? And I can skew the camera a little bit like that. We'll just, uh, widen our field of view so it's all in there. So now we have this 3D effect and our nested camera is still the same. The other cool thing about this is if we go and click here, and this is obviously another plugin, which I'll leave a link to down in the description. You guys are gonna have to let me know if you wanna see a video about this, but we're gonna select the move transition plugin. This is pretty complicated, I don't care. You don't have to change anything. So we've got this slightly skewed right here. And if you watch what happens, boom, boom. So we could do the same thing with this. All right, so what we could do is let's go ahead and create another scene, right? And we'll call this main two. And basically we're just gonna duplicate that other scene, but in reverse. And so now when we move back and forth, you could see that it totally shifts it. And the move transition is really, really cool like that. So we've got our camera here that's skewed that will go to the big camera. And then we've got these two that will skew and it will move anything. So if you have your chat over here and it says coming soon or whatever, and we move over here, it will say coming soon down here and your chat will be over here. It will move all of those around the screen really smoothly and it will adjust to the 3D filter. So that's all the cool things you could do with the 3D filter, especially when you use a couple of other little plugins that are all totally free. I cannot wait to see what you guys do with this stuff. I love the plugins I showed you today, the main one being the 3D effects plugin. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you wanna see the plugins I never stream without, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.